Manufacturing and filling sterile drug products is an incredibly complicated and challenging endeavor. Without collaboration, you're just kind of out on your own, right? But we don't have to reinvent the wheel if there are other users out there who've done the same thing. We've found great advantage in sharing info and sharing best practices so that you don't have to make a mistake in order to learn from it. We can learn from past challenges and then share those with each other. Um, it advances the industry as a whole. So the user group is a group of people that have kind of bought into the trend early of gloveless robotic isolators. Cytiva had asked us if we'd be willing to reach out to a customer who kind of took the plunge first. And as part of that conversation, there was the question, would you be interested in meeting regularly to discuss latest trends and what we can do? One key benefit to being part of the user group is you don't feel like you're alone. You don't feel like you're trying to solve this problem by yourself. In the user group, we focus on issues associated with the operation of the equipment, with the qualification of the equipment, with uh, how the equipment and the current qualification process fits within the existing regulatory framework. You know, when I started in industry, this type of data sharing and collaboration was unheard of. You would not talk to competitive companies. You certainly wouldn't share data. It's heartening though, right? Because we're not making widgets, we're making sterile medicines for patient populations. And the catalyst for it has been the SA25 isolator, right? I wouldn't have opportunity to talk to any of these end users under any other circumstance. So the, the user group, just like the, the work cell itself, is, is product agnostic. Um, so we have users that are filling small molecule versus large molecule versus mRNA. I mean, you pick it. It, it doesn't matter the actual product. That, that's fine. That's proprietary. That lives upstream with all the users. We don't talk about that. Um, what we talk about is that process of moving it from a point of being a sterile bulk and getting it into that final delivery mechanism. We're really attempting to manage risk on a brand new process. And working alone is far more dangerous for us from the perspective of failing the project. The technology is very novel. There aren't any regulations or guidances really to satisfy what we're trying to do. This is industry coming together to pave the path of what we think the guidances should be and why. The, the user group amplifies the opinions um, and the feedback of any one customer. When they approach Cytiva as a unified voice, you know, that makes it an obvious thing of, okay, this is a concern that's coming from, you know, several places and it bubbles it right up to the top of the list to say, yeah, this, this certainly should be something that, uh, that we're addressing because, you know, it's, it's coming directly from the voice of our customers. You know, many voices speaking simultaneously become a much louder voice. They also inspire confidence in not only ourselves and uh, our leadership that we're on a good path for the project, but also confidence with the regulatory bodies that are reviewing this information. We're all dealing with the same regulatory bodies. We're all dealing with the same regulatory guidances. So if we have a company that's already gone through the entire regulatory process and they've achieved FDA approval, the ways that they've done that, we can share that with other end users without sharing proprietary information. Nobody's a competitor over making safe product. Um, that's, that's the primary goal of, of each and every one of the companies, and so that's what we're collaborating on. It's about the patient. It's about how to fill that parenteral drug product in a way that's going to absolutely guarantee the, the safety of the patient and their well-being.